thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. I do air fryer videos every Friday or every other Friday, depending on when I can get them out for you guys. So it is fall here in Wisconsin and we already decorated for fall. So if you guys checked out my first day of homeschool, we did a little bit of fall decorations here. We're all ready for the fall season. And some of the things that go along with the fall season is pumpkin pie or apple pie, depending on what you guys prefer. Um, we're hoping that in the next like couple weeks or so, we're able to go through some apple picking and then I can do an apple pie recipe in the air fryer. So that'll be fun. Now I am doing complete like cheat out pumpkin pie here. So I am not making this from scratch. We are gonna make this super easy on us today. And I went and got some already made pie crust. I'm gonna be making one pie today. Um, I did buy some extras in case uh, my kids eat this one up and we need to make more. But we're just gonna focus on making one today and um, show you guys how to do that. What I have all together here is I have my half a cup of sugar, I have some pumpkin pie puree and vanilla, some cinnamon, um, pumpkin pie spice, and um, an egg. So we are going to get started with that. So I have my bowl ready, put my sugar in, crack my egg. So you're gonna want to mix that really good together. Okay, mix that until you have a smooth mixture. Now, if you guys have an electric feeder and you wanna do things a little bit quicker than me, go ahead and do that. All right, so that's all nice and smooth. I'm gonna add in a cup of the pumpkin pie filling. I'm gonna put that right in. And we're gonna add everything else right away. So the only thing that you really needed to do was mix that egg and that sugar together. We are gonna add a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Um, if you guys like cinnamon and you want to add a little bit more, go ahead and do that. But we're just gonna add a half a teaspoon. We're gonna add a half a teaspoon of vanilla. We're going to be adding a teaspoon of the pumpkin, um, the pumpkin spice. Mix that all together. All right, so that's what the mixture looks like. We're gonna set this off to the side for a little bit because we're gonna work on the pie crust. What I ended up using for our pan is one of the things that I got in my kit. So I have a link down below. If I remember, I'll leave a link down below. And I told you in my other videos that I bought a whole kit and all this came with it. Other recipes out there for smaller, versions of pumpkin pie, but we're gonna actually make a full pie in the air fryer today. So one of the things that you need to do is you're going to take your pie crust, it's just cut around a little bit wider than my pan, just so I have enough for it to um, tuck in and fold over. So I'm just gonna take just a little layer all the way around Okay, so this is gonna be the bottom part of our pie. What I'm gonna do now is spray our pie pan. We are going to place our crust, just like that, right in there. And then you can fold your ends over because we're gonna be adding the top part of our pie and uh, we wanna seal that together, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it like this and I'm going to add my pie filling to our pie now. Okay, okay so I ended up not using everything. So I'm just gonna go with that and that's what we're gonna be using. Now what you wanna do is add the top part. What I didn't do is measure this one out. So this one I'm just gonna add right to the top I'm just gonna press it down on my sides for right now. Either take a butter knife or a sharper knife 
and you're gonna want to go on the bottom if you guys can see here you're gonna want to go on the bottom part of this rim if you have too much hanging off to the side you can go ahead and take some of that off because we don't want all that extra crust on there unless you like extra crust you can keep that on but I think we're just gonna uh, trim it up nice here just gonna seal it just a little bit so I'm just gonna do that then what I'm going to do okay so that's what that looks like for right now Let me give you a little closer so I just kind of went around a little bit with that now what you're gonna wanna do is take some water and you're just gonna wanna go right around the edge here. Now, if you guys use butter or anything to seal uh, your pie or to um, go on the top, go ahead and do that, but I'm just gonna use water. And then you need to take your fork. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is just make pleats, little marks all around your pie and that'll help seal your pie crust together there so that's what that should look like let's see if I can bring you guys a little closer can you see okay then what I'm gonna do is just sprinkle just a little bit of cinnamon on top that's it just a little bit Now, I'm going to lightly spray the top. Not a lot of spray, but just lightly. And that's all I want to do. Now, we are going to set our air fryer. Okay, so just place your um, pumpkin pie right in your air fryer. I'm going to set our air fryer to 365. I'm going to cook it for 10 minutes, check on it. And then we might have to cook it for another four minutes. So, it's best to cook less time check it more often there's nothing wrong with that otherwise you're just going to end up burning everything so we're going to set that oh 365 we're going to go to 10 minutes and i will be back okay so i took the pie out of the air fryer i ended up cooking it for another three minutes but depending on how hot your air fryer gets make sure you check timing on that um so I'm gonna cut this up, plate it up, and show you what it looks like. Hopefully you guys liked today's video, and if you guys have any questions on how to make the pumpkin pie, if it doesn't turn out for you, or if you have any other questions with making it, mine isn't as flaky as I would like it for the crust to be underneath, but you could maybe cook it a little bit longer. So all together I cooked it for 13 minutes, you could cook it a little bit longer um, to get that bottom crust cooked or you could also um, spray the bottom of your pan, put your bottom crust on, spray that also, cook that for a couple minutes before you put the pie filling in. That might help with um, getting that bottom crust a little bit more flaky. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little fall dessert and it's just in time for Thanksgiving because that's just right around the corner. Um, but other than that guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed my video today. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other air fryer videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Don't, oh, what is it? Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, okay. So hopefully, all right. This is, oh my gosh. My whipped cream is melting as we speak.